Hey tech heads and welcome back to the Heath Bar Network. Hey, it works. Today's video is gonna be interesting. So it is Make You Smile Monday, so today's video we're gonna be watching probably the first ever video that I watched that introduced me to the world of stand up comedy. But before we get into that, quick shout outs to Emily P. Fun Nails, Laughing on the Sidelines, and Filmora Wondershare. Now, Emily P., she's got nail sets ready to be made, and all she needs is you guys to give her some ideas. Whether it be mm, ladybug pattern coffin nails, um, three inch long acrylic nail sets, whatever you want. Emily P can make. Um, laughing on the sidelines, my favorite sports podcast. You guys are hilarious, and it's always a pleasure to listen to new episodes every week. I think they come out every Wednesday. Once it is, and then film more wonder share, which brings you every video ever since my try not to laugh challenge two months ago. Oh, uh, one of these videos I'm going to have to go back and watch this very first one from way back when. I might do that in a couple months, actually. Anyways, I got a little challenge for you guys. So I know I got the whole dunk tank challenge going, but if, if this video, Try It Tuesday Poppy Playtime, can get 50 likes... If you guys can pull that off and get 50 likes on this video and a matching 50 views, I will try it again. S sound simple? Okay. So today's video, we are going to check out one of my favorite comedians, Gabriel Iglesias, also better known as Fluffy. And why are you ba- oh, that's why it's- clanging over there. My headset wasn't plugged in. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm dub. Just mute it. Better not be. I'll be pissed. Anyways, let us check out probably the first comedy bit that I've ever watched Gabriel Glacius do. Well, the first one I ever watched him do. Not the first one he ever did. I don't know what, what that clip would be. Anyways, first comedy bit i ever seen was him talk about five levels of fatness. Oh, and I know he's got done an update since then, but I want to watch this one just for memory's sake. So let's go. Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias. Let's see, Gabriel Iglesias, five levels of fatness. Let's see. Levels of drunkness, reacts, six levels of fatness. If I need to, oh, please tell me this is it. Nope. Oh, jeez, I. Uh, it might have to be one of the YouTube shorts because. Well, if nothing else, I'll have to save this particular video for another one and just do one of the six levels of fatness. Because it's funnier than the original five. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, no. Wait. Oh, animated Fluffy, let's go. That's sad, because I know some of you are going to try it, man. You're like... <laughs> And for the record, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. For those of you who still don't know, there are five levels of fatness. 
is fluffy is one of the levels. There's big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn! I'm still number four. People go, how do you know when you're number five? Well, because people will tell you, you know? If you try to get on an elevator that's crowded and people stop you and go, uh uh! Damn! If you go to Disneyland and little kids want to ride you, I'm sorry, little kids are too honest, man. They're like little alcoholics. You know, and as far as, you know, Disneyland, I love Disneyland, but they're not fluffy friendly. They're not, man. They care about safety, you know? And that sucks, because I can handle one bar. One bar, I'm cool. But now they got the whole, you know. If you're fluffy, one of those is not gonna lock. You're trying. People are in line. You can do it! One time I took a trip with my buddy Mondo, right? Big guy, another big guy. And uh, I went with him because his family, you know, they decided to go and he didn't want to be the only one hanging out by the strollers. So we're hanging out and at the end of the day, my buddy Mondo goes, dude, we should get on a ride. I go, which one? They all, we can't get on none of them, dude, we're too big. He goes, there's a ride here at Disneyland. It's called Splash Mountain. I go, what is that? He goes, it's a log and you get inside the log and it goes uphill, goes down, makes a splash. No seatbelt, no pull bar. You just get in and go. I'll go, no seatbelt, no pull bar? <laughs> so we get in line for it, right? We're all pumped up, and I see people getting off the ride with these little note cards. I go, what are those? He goes, oh, they take a photo of you when you go downhill. Oh, okay, cool. So we get to the front of the line, and then we have to deal with the lady with the headset. The lady who takes her job way too serious. Okay, how many people? Four, okay. Two here, two here. How many? Five? Okay, three there, two there. And we get to the front. How many people? <laughs> who cares? We get our own boat, right? We take off. <laughs> We're squishing and splashing like little kids. <laughs> three minutes go by, the moment of truth. We get to the hill, right? <laughs> My buddy Mondo turns around and he says, dude, let's flash the camera. You ain't right. I said, you're stupid. I'm down. <laughs> so as soon as it let us go, right? <laughs> we get off the ride, we are soaking wet. We're <laughs> We're all rosado right here. We got a mean old baby rash. We go to buy the picture, and there's a lady behind the counter with her hand on the screen. And I asked my buddy Mondo, I said, bro, what boat are we? He says, 22. I go, she's covering 22. He goes, oh, we better sneak out of here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna sneak out. <laughs> We get past the picture, girl, but then we get stopped by Disney security. And you have not lived until you've been stopped by a freaky man wearing a badge in the shape of a mouse. <laughs> this guy was like, hold on, hold on a second. Ma'am, move your hand away from the screen. You guys see what I see here? That's a disgrace to this park. We can't believe anyone could take such a photo. My question to you guys. Do you recognize the two big women in this picture? <laughs> and it wasn't until we walked over to this photo that my buddy Armando and I realized something about ourselves. And that is that when two full grown fluffy men are going downhill at a 45 degree angle with no shirts on going like this, we both look like sexy bitches. <laughs> okay. I don't know what we've done to that. I, have, I gotta find a clip of the six levels of fatness because you're never gonna believe what the sixth level is.
good one for another day. Where the heck is it? Oh, do do da dee. Make a couple of laugh. Levels of drunkness. Da 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 da. Six levels of fatness. A lot has changed, El Paso. A lot has changed. One thing's for sure, I'm still the fluffy guy. Fluffy, why so quiet? I did my headset, sorry. And I say fluffy because that is the politically correct term. For those of you that don't remember, I used to say that there were five levels of fatness. Reason why I say used to say is because now there are six. Uh-huh, I met the new one in Las Cruces. Uh-huh, I met the new one in Las Cruces. Las Cruces. Someone looked at a fair amount The original is. five levels are big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn! People ask, what could be bigger than damn? The new level's called, oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! What's the difference? You're still willing to work with level five. Example, if you're on an elevator and you're with your friend and this really big guy gets on and you and your friend look at each other and you're like, damn. But you still let the big guy ride your elevator. That's the difference. Level six, you see walking towards your elevator. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> That's the difference. The guy that I met was six foot eight, 614 pounds. Uh -huh. Oh, hell no! So, quick time out here. Sorry, Fluffy. Bad <laughs> face. Oh. Let's see. Fluffy guy said Las Cruces dude was six. What? Six foot eight, 600. Six foot eight. So, for reference. If you've seen me standing up in my Bring Sally Up video, I'm five, like five foot eight, five foot nine. This dude in Las Cruces, a near solid foot over my head. So yeah, I put a standard ruler on top of my head. Hello! <laughs> Moving on, sorry. 14 pounds. Wait, how the? Uh -huh. guy that I how met was he? six foot eight, 614 pounds. Uh -huh. Oh, hell no! <laughs> and he was offended at my show. Not by anything that I said, but because of the fact that now at the shows, I started selling t-shirts, and apparently, I didn't have his size. <laughs> Keep in mind, I go all the way up to 5X on the t-shirts. And he was like, you don't have my size. I was like, dude, I didn't know they made you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they made you. I have up to 5X. I don't have X. The picture of a dinosaur on the back of the tag, you know? Okay, guys. I, I'm sorry. I, I was drunk as I will save you for another funny day. Uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna have to do it for me. Listen, if you guys like these make you smile monday videos give me a suggestion throw out something that wait which this one filming is out i think it's this one that's filming that's why it's the wide angle oops wait no yeah no it's this one sorry i got two cameras on my computer so i gotta move one over here so I know, okay, I'm not using that one to film. I'm using you guys, this camera, to film. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. To the channel. Maybe. Anyways, guys, sorry, squirrel left and right. I'm trying to get out of here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click that like button, hit the subscribe, ding the bell. Let me know what you guys want to see. And if you got a personal suggestion or something that you want to ask me that you don't want brought up on the video, 
send it to me at my email. It's always mentioned in every video. I think it's mentioned in almost every caption. If not, email and it's probably why I'm not getting nothing because it's just labeled wrong. The email to directly to me and the network. It's heathbarfanmail at gmail.com. I will put that in the description below if I remember. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys! Oh, come on. That was weak. Thank you.